Hello everyone. Welcome to your reading for June 8th, 2021. Um, it's funny because my, um, my son's birthday is today and he was born in 1987. So um, when I was writing down the shuffle song, I write down the date and I wrote down June 8th, 87. <laughs> so that might mean something for some of you. Um, so I just wrote a dash and 21. So it might be a reading for June 8th, 1987 until today. So maybe this is for my son. I'm not sure. Um, that wasn't what I wrote down. I wrote down all signs. So before I wrote down 87. So um, the shuffle song. The shuffle song is called La Verite. And it's by Francois and the Atlas Mountains. And it was all in French. I couldn't really pick anything up. So um, I'm not even sure what I felt from the tune. But uh, let's just jump in. But something about the truth, the verite, the truth. So let's start. Okay, you can see that. Um, your first card out is the Seven of Swords in the upright. Actually, I'm going to put them all out. The how is the Eight of Swords in the upright. The why is the Magician in the upright. How you feel is the Knight of Wands in the upright. Wow. Um... So right away, I'm feeling like you know something about um, some kind of deception. The Knight of Wands is, he's the knower. Also, he has the Magician in the upright. It almost looks like the Magician is saying, um, what do you want? I'll do it. This person has some kind of gift here. So this feels like you, whoever's watching this. Um, has this gift like they they know a lot they know about magic they know actually their magic comes from their brain their magic comes from some kind of knowing um, but what I was where I was going um, was someone has some kind of magic right at their fingertips like you can make whatever you want happen you have like this genie beside you <clears throat> that's saying, let me grant you your wishes. In the how, you have the eight of swords in the upright. So that's like a trapped feeling. Somebody trapped, somebody tried to trap you. Somebody tried to, this is also hope in this deck. So somebody was hoping to make somebody feel very restricted and it's it feels like they can't restrict your mind your mind is very very expansive with this magician um the magician can also mean mental illness and this is triggers as well right beside it so it kind of feels like someone is hoping to trigger you um to feel to be less stable, but it won't work. You're sitting there as the king of wands. The knower. Someone who sees potential. Someone who helps bring others up. This is someone who is completely in tune. I also feel like this is almost like um, spiritual barbed wire. I feel like in a way um, it's a it's a protection between some kind of deceptive energy and yourself. This feels like a boundary that they can't cross. And I also feel like you get some kind of, I don't know, like it buzzes, it, it buzzes in your intuition. Like you feel when someone is trying to spiritually attack you as well. Um, and your knowledge of it, all you have to do is think I'm protected and you're protected. But there's also some kind of hope here as well. This is also being brilliant, outsmarting something. I really feel like you're on to some kind of deceptive energy that's trying to reach you and it can't. Or it's something like trapping anything that's trying to reach you you trap it or something like that all right your advice 
Seven of Wands in the reverse. You're not fighting. This stops a fight. You, this is stopping a fight. This is not engaging. This is also not making any decisions. So take that how it resonates as your advice. Leaving things open. Also not reacting to someone trying to trigger you. Bottom of the deck. Um, seven of coins in the reverse. You know, it, it feels that's, um, that's not investing in something, not investing in something. It, it's kind of saying to me that your advice is to not invest in something or not invest right now, right now. It's really saying don't make any moves right now. Um, it, because this can mean losing money or being anxious about money. I also feel like with this magician above it, um, it's saying wait, that there's something happening, there's something manifesting. This feels like something untouchable. Like this Eight of Swords really does feel like some kind of prickly um, energy that stops anything negative from coming towards you. Something that you're seeing potential in. There's some kind of investment related thing or or you're waiting for knowledge. You're waiting for something to click intuitively as well. You're, and there's that, I'm picking up that you're, you're waiting for um, a signal for your gut to tell you that it's time to make some kind of move. And right now it's not. This does also feel like you're using some kind of um, higher, like much, much higher intellect here. This is very strategic. Four of Swords in the upright. Solitude, rest, thinking. Again, a lot of brain work here. It feels like this is do not disturb. This is literally called backbiter. It's somebody... Um, poking at you, criticizing you. That could be how someone's trying to keep you from this really powerful space here. It's really saying to sit still. This is sitting still. Being alone, thinking, um, thinking of a solution, trying to find a solution in solitude. Definitely going to a very deep, actually not deep, it's deep, but it's, you're going to a higher place, this Seven of Swords. Like, it's, it's really, I don't even have the words for it. The knower and brilliance. Um, you could be an air sign, like this is Gemini season, happy birthday as well. Um, this is also persistency. Someone has reached a really super high level by being persistent. This is also saying to rest. Don't make any moves right now, just rest. It's almost saying sit in your power. In the how, you have the Page of Cups in the reverse. Um, deception. Deception, um, emotional manipulation, uh, messages. It's also saying for somebody when you're quiet, you pick up on some kind of manipulation or manipulative message. Or when you're alone, someone um, really misses you. Really misses you. Um, someone's trying to figure something out here. They're, they can't decide. I need a drink. I feel like this is cutting someone off here. Oh, and also the page of wands fell out in the upright when I was shuffling, when I was doing the pre-shuffle. Um, that's good news. That's a message coming with good news. I feel like that's what this king of wands is waiting for in your feelings. You're waiting for someone um, to give you a 
some kind of go, some kind of message. Because you either shouldn't do something yet or you can't do something yet until you're in full knowledge of something. More swords. Nine of swords in the reverse. Somebody is really good at manifesting when they clear their conscience. This, this is being in turmoil and not being able to sleep and def like being defiant, um, fighting back, having to defend yourself. But in the um, upright, it's a clear conscience. And I often see this card as like the window in that in-between state or meditative state, in between sleeping and waking, um, when you're in that clear zone, this is definitely meditating and reaching a higher point. I keep thinking of a pyramid there, um, like a triangle, where you're reaching some kind of crescendo here of knowledge. I also feel like this is somebody not wanting any, you know, noise, not wanting anything that's not real around them to distract them. This is powerful manifesting here. All right, let's see how you feel. Wow, the Ace of Cups in the upright. So very open, very giving, very loving. It looks like that King of Wands is, it's like he's getting his, um, He's getting his energy from this cup. It's like he's sitting right on this cup of love, love and truth. He's sitting in truth for sure. It's celebration. It also feels like he's getting his, wow, clear conscience and love. And it's like he's springing out of the cup. That's what it feels like. It feels like he's soaking up all of this good energy all of this meditative, brilliant energy, blocking out anything that's irritating. And then he's going to spring out of this space in a very good way. He's going to take action on something. That could be the what the night or sorry, the page of wands message was. This could be a person that is about to spring up and offer some kind of love and truth. And um I feel like this is also him picturing something very um, beautiful something that's not happening yet this is this is um, something that it's either not ripe yet or it's not um, it's not time yet it's something very beautiful it's something that somebody sees as their highest state this is in someone's hopes and wishes when they meditate when they block everything out. There's also a water sign that is irritating to them. I don't know who this is. Anyway, if you are this person, which I think you are, whoever you are watching this, um, you're sitting there waiting to do something that you love, that you want to do, that you're ready for in your in your. Like your, your, um, oh, what's the word for it? Your, you feel like the time is right for some kind of highest dream or highest goal, something that you absolutely want, but the cards are saying not yet. Also saying not to trust, um, some water sign could be a child. It's a page. All right. Below the Seven of Wands, you have the Five of Swords in the upright. So that is an argument that is gaslighting. That's the NARC card. Um, there could be someone who's trying to stay away from a water sign that's really manipulative, that is like blowing up their phone. Um, you might not be wanting to speak to this person. I'm feeling like it's it's a male, a masculine energy. Um, yeah, it's, it feels like you're ignoring them or somebody is ignoring somebody who all they do is cause conflict. This is also, again, someone making a highest decision for themselves. 
and deciding to be alone, solo. And they're, they're full of love and they're manifesting something from their highest. It's from a good place. It's from um, a clear, pure place. This card feels pure to me. All right, there's a lot of purity in this reading with this Queen of Cups, or Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups. So there's something someone is dropping they don't want anymore. There's something somebody doesn't want to manifest, or sorry, they don't want to invest in. Um, and this is coming from their, their highest consciousness. So their, their moral center, basically. Okay, bottom of the deck. So many swords. Definitely a Gemini um, feeling to this. So, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Below the Seven of Coins in the reverse. So, yeah, it feels... It feels a little bit... Um, Someone's, someone's putting their sword down. This is someone who wants a fight all the time. There's somebody that will not fight anymore. Someone is really putting, um, not speaking to this person that's really aggravating or um, not engaging. This person wants something new. This person, if, if, you, if you follow this kind of journey, um, this is somebody's, divine masculine. I'm, I'm really not comfortable with that terminology. I try it every once in a while and it just never feels like it sits right. But I feel like I need to say that for somebody. This for somebody is, um, if you're a man, this is for you. This is you doing something from love and from your highest consciousness, manifesting something. Um, out of, this is very, very high. This is high, high energy. Um, but also somebody is getting rid of some kind of low energy, um, competitive energy, fighting energy. Um, there's never any peace here. And someone is walking away from that um, to start something new. They want to start something new. Someone's putting down an old investment here, an old conflict-based investment, and wants something new. That's what this is. So let's, I'm gonna try and read this with you in mind because I keep picking up somebody else. I keep picking up that you are maybe the something new or I'm trying to see this as, as the person watching the video being this person. All right, let's, let's start again. In the what? There's some kind of, um, Some kind of brilliance attained via meditation, by being alone, by, um, I'm also feeling like this is some kind of block. Somebody is blocking someone here because someone, like I said, is blowing up their phone. Someone doesn't trust. Someone is not letting someone in their sacred space. Someone has a, a really divine connection here. And someone else is trying to get into it and you won't let them in. Um, in the why, it's because you are truly connecting here. You are manifesting at a super high level. You're connecting at a high level. You're, you're, you're feeling incredibly confident. You're, you also, there's something about healing waters here because it feels like he's sitting in a bathtub of some kind of spiritual bath. You could be having a spiritual bath to to um, cleanse your to cleanse your energy of all manipulative energies or un like they're just they're they're just not um, they're not from a good place. This also feels a bit like um, 
the word sage just came to mind here. This is, this is like a, it feels like a mist. It feels like something that cleanses you. Someone's having a spiritual bath and they're lighting candles and incense and, and um, things that are cleansing them. Cleansing them of all conflict. This is you after this spiritual bath. It doesn't have to be a literal bath. This is energy. This is energy coming from under you and enveloping you in a very good way. In a very... I don't even have the language for what I'm seeing, what I'm picking up. It's so deep and it's so... Um, very much at a higher level. And this is you dropping some kind of sword in some kind of battle, in some kind of competition that someone wants to keep you embroiled in and, you, and you're not. It's not even hard for you. You're just sitting there knowing what you have to do, doing it and moving on to a new beginning. Um, and for some of you, this is fertility as well. There's some kind of fertile new beginning in your future. That can mean baby. That can. Some of you are going to have a child. Some of you didn't think you would ever have children. This is giving up on an idea. This is also something you're not thinking about. For some of you, oh boy, I know a Gemini and she's not going to like this. All right, that is where we're going to end it. Um, your shuffle song was called La Verite by Francois and the Atlas Mountains. All right. I love you guys. Have a great day. And I am going to come back hopefully today and do um, Gemini. But this does kind of feel like the Gemini reading anyway. All right. Love you guys. Bye.